Hi everyone and welcome back. In this quick tip video we are going to have a look on how to manage heavy scenes in Maya's viewport. As you can see I have this big front wall full of rocks and it is ruining my experience in the viewport because it's too heavy. The frame rate is too low and I just can't work with it. And I am using references and divided the wall into manageable tiles. You can always disable its display layer, but the problem is that we need to re-enable it every time we do a render. So the solution I found is to enable overrides on the shape node in the attribute editor and set it, and set it to bounding box. Let's open up the script editor to write a simple script to enable overrides in, the, in every tile of this wall. We start by storing the selection in a variable with the ls command. Now we create a simple loop to iterate over each tile in the selection. Let's print out the result. As you can see we get the transform node in the output window, but we need the shape instead. Let's steal the command from the script editor output by enabling the overrides manually. So in order to get the shape node we need to use the command list relatives with the path flag set to true. And if we print out the result we're indeed getting the shape node. Make sure you put the object in the list relatives command. Now we can set the first attribute which will enable overrides and the second that will set it to bounding box. If we run the code it will give us an error because the object is in a list and we need to set, it, set the index. Just set the index to zero in the set attribute commands. As you see we can select multiple objects, run the code and is working just fine. Now let's select all the tiles of the wall and run the code. It will take just a second to load the selection in the viewport. As soon as you get the, a responsive interface you can run the code. And now the scene is much lighter and we can keep working without lagging. The good thing about this is that we'll render just fine, which doesn't happen if we disable the layer. In case you want to revert the override, you can just run this code in the screen, which is just disabling the override. Basically the same code we wrote, with a different value. And there you have your geometry back. So that is it for now, hope this was somehow useful to you, let me know if you enjoyed this quick tip video, bye for now.